Урок двадцать. Текст. At the ticket office. Well, I want to buy tickets to the two p.m. train leaving for San Francisco. A round trip? No, just one way. Adult? One adult and one child. By the way, how long will it take me to get there? If you get on the two fifteen p.m., you are in Frisco at six thirty p.m. If you choose the two p.m., it will take you half an hour longer. How come? The two fifteen is a through train. With the two p.m. train, you are to make a transfer in Oakland and wait for about half an hour. Are there other trains to Frisco? Lots of. You can take a look at the timetable near the information. At the information. Excuse me, the man in the ticket office told me that if I got on a two o'clock train, I would have to change trains in Oakland. Is that true? What's your destination? San Francisco. Did you use the computer online information terminal, or did you look through the arrivals and departures board? I did both, but I couldn't make anything out, neither here nor there. I've never travelled by railroad before. I used to go by plane. I am used to it. Do you want me to tell you which train is the most suitable? Let me see. If you take the one forty-five express, you'll arrive at San Francisco at five thirty. You won't have to change trains in case. Fine, that suits me. Okay, so the one forty-five express train. Thanks. At the ticket office, two. So could I have one adult and one child, one way, one forty-five train to San Francisco? A smoking car? Surely not. I don't smoke. Neither does my kid. So, two seats in a non-smoker first-class compartment thirty-four. The train leaves at one forty-five p.m. to Frisco Platform Six. Thanks a lot. And where can I check my luggage? Over there. Дополнительное чтение. Mrs. Baker's sister was ill. She had someone to look after her from Monday to Friday, but not at the weekend. So every Friday evening, Mrs. Baker used to go off to spend the weekend with her. At her home in a neighboring town, but as Mr. Baker could not cook, she had arranged for his sister to come over and spend the weekend looking after him at their home. This meant that Mr. Baker had quite a busy time when he came home from work on Friday evenings. First, he had to drive home from the railway station. Then he had to drive his wife to the station to catch her train. And then he had to wait until his sister's train arrived, so as to take her to his house. Of course, on Sunday evening he had to drive his sister to the station to catch her train back home, and then wait for his wife's train so as to bring her home. On Sunday evening he had seen his sister off on her train and was waiting for his wife's arrival when a porter. Who had often seen him at the station came over and spoke to him. "You are having a lot of fun," he said. "But one day one of those women is going to catch you with the other, and then you will be in real trouble."